Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Okay, hope. Frivolty. Messenger. All right, so somebody could be playing with you. Playing on the fact that maybe you want the relationship to start up again. They know that you're in a place of hoping, wishing and praying that for an opportunity, for a chance meeting, for a face-to-face -face meeting, or a message to come to you. Somebody could want the relationship back with you. What they could be sending you is a gift, and along with the gift is a message. Somebody played with you. They, they they didn't take you serious. They didn't take the relationship serious. All right. It looks like maybe they've seen that you have gone on with your life. New doors have opened for you. And now this person is like, no, we can't have that. So what I'm going to do is run interference. They might be playing with you some more. We'll drill down on this. But it looks like they want to give you a message to hope in hopes that they can pull you back in this could be what you're doing also leo let's see what's going on here what do we have for leo the runner yeah somebody was um a runner in this relationship they feared intimacy they were listening to their ego um it was a codependent relationship you know it couldn't be toxic with just one person that'd be toxic with two so somebody was allowing while the other person was doing um somebody could be leaving somebody was in that runner energy and the person was chasing after them and now the chaser is saying you know they kind of slowed down they're not running after this they're not chasing after this runner anymore and now the the runner's like okay hold on wait what's going on here um let me switch this energy up. Let me put, let me um, make this person feel like, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to put in a little bit of work so that they can start chasing after me again. This is fucking crazy. That's why we have frivolity coming up. Twin flames. I knew it was going to come out. So look, most times you get this type of runner chaser energy in a twin flame connection. And it's only because one person's choosing the twin flame, understanding like, oh, this is my soulmate, this is my twin flame, this is my this, my that. And the other person is just not choosing to engage. Therefore, they're running, listening to their ego, still dating other people, not taking their relationship as serious as they should. It is what it is with them. Let's see. The Phoenix, yeah, new phase, rekindle, renew, yeah, transformation, change mind, growth. So somebody had that and now the other person is trying to turn. So the runner was running, the chaser was chasing. The chaser said, you know what, let him keep going, let him keep running. And then the runner stopped and said, hold on, I'm not being chased anymore. Now the runner is um, trying to get the chaser to chase again. This is absolutely cat and mouse, you know, um, this is asinine at, at its best. It's, it's crazy, especially if these people are over the age of 30 years old. Um, it's too much for my soul at this hour, okay? Seduction? I knew it was going to look. Somebody's trying to like, okay, you're not chasing me no more. Let me seduce you. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but I'm laughing with you, okay? So keep in mind that you're in the energy of as long as you chase they'll keep running as soon as you stop chasing they'll start chasing you and they're trying to get you to chase them and then as soon as you start chasing them they'll, they'll start running off again Fl uh, flirting temptation interference third party attraction dating you know this person could even be trying to make you jealous again trying to get you to chase the snake i knew it the other woman competition clever Someone's playing, this is competition. Someone's being clever, trying to get you to chase. This is, this ain't nothing but manipulation, mind games. This is crazy. Run for your life. Not after this person, but for your life. Uh, engagement ring. This is so, I feel like they're dangling this carrot over your head. Like, you know, you are the one. You want to want to be with. You want to want to marry. You, you this, you that. And doing nothing. You know, but making you chase 
after this. This is what's keeping someone stuck in the connection, holding on to hope. Yep. So somebody should be ascending, transcending the obstacles, learning, going to a new phase and preparing for a union. But somebody's still reminiscing, you know, they need to learn from the past and they're trying to make new memories, but this could even be, we got coffin here. This is an ending. Somebody's saying, you know what, I'm just done with this. This is too much. And they're transitioning or they've ended the relationship again. We get the energy of somebody slowed down the chase. And now here's the carrot. Well, I wanted to marry you or I'm going to marry you. This might make a person stop in their tracks, try to create new memories with this person, but they really should be ascending, moving past these obstacles and preparing for a real union and allowing this just to die or to take whatever course it's going to take. Let's see what your person has to say to you. Let's see if it offers you any advice. What is this person? Okay. Yeah, I'm not telling you my true intention. So this is somebody purposely holding back, not being honest, lying by omission. You know, if I don't tell you what I'm really doing, then I really don't have to do it, right? Somebody needs more money. You know, they need more money to actually be with you. They're not telling you that. What else is going on? Yeah, forgive me. If you call or text, I will answer. So somebody's putting the onus on you. Like you call, you text, I'll answer. And they want you to forgive them, you know, for causing all this drama. Someone's saying this is just about the sex, okay? And it could be with that seduction card. It could be that, oh, this third party is just about the sex. It was just to get you to chase. It was just to get you upset. It wasn't, it, I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, please forgive me. If you call or text, I'm going to answer. But I'm not going to call you because I know I don't want to hear your mouth. So, you know, I know if you call me, you're going to be nice. So I want to say you're just right for me. And maybe it's because somebody's a material girl or a guy. Someone knows that somebody can be bought. But somebody's having financial issues and they can't focus on love. So somebody could be running you in circles because they can't really focus down on you or the love relationship because they're having money issues. Money issues came out twice, but they don't want you to leave. So I'll run you in circles because I don't want you to leave and go up and choose up with somebody else who can offer you all the material that you need and give you all these different things. Therefore, I'm just going to keep you in circles. I'm going to keep you chasing me. I'm going to keep you thinking that I'm dealing with other people. As long as you look over here and not over there, we're good. I, what a player, F boy, F girl, just my running in circles. If it resonates for you, Leo, let me know how it resonates for you. Are you dealing with an F boy, F girl? Is somebody running you in circles? Is somebody trying to delude you, trying to get you to look over here and not over there? Is somebody trying to hold on to hope that you guys are going to come back together? Is somebody the runner, the chaser? Let me know how this resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. But before you do that, click on the community tab here on YouTube, grab a discount code, and then head over to the website. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.